Rachel Campos, was yeah. it su- <laughs> you're like yeah? Was it surprising at all that she would b- go on to become a Republican commentator on Fox News and you know no, go not on? Surprising. <laughs> Not surprising. You know, I mean, it's interesting because, I mean, we were all young people and we've changed. I mean, life is, we're, we're you know, we have kids and, <laughs> you know, like we do boring stuff that our parents used to do. So um, I'm not surprised. I think it's a coalescing of kind of that entertainment, but, you know, like bug, right? Like once you do something like the real world, you get this entertainment bug. And you start to think, particularly if you weren't someone in entertainment before, that like I have to somehow be in entertainment now. And so I think Rachel did a small stint on The View and in some other places. And now she's hosting on Fox News. And trust me, I see her Twitter feed all the time. And I'm just like, I kind of ignore it, to be honest, because I I, Twitter sometimes to me is just this, um, this sort of like mill of discontent, right? It's just this like... Um, churn of discontent. Uh, and I think it's depressing. I, I don't know why anyone that, you know, would look at it because we all deal with our mental wellness at some point and, and having to be on a site where you're constantly seeing this thing. It's just like, I, I can't mess with it. Um, but Rachel's on there all the time spouting all types of misinformation. Um, I got to know Rachel pretty well. Like, I mean, that's the interesting thing about the sort of political stuff day and age that we live in is that um, we're not able at all to separate people from ideology, right? Um, They're one and the same. If your ideology is bad from my perspective, then you're bad. And I think it's more nuanced than that. And and being with these folks on this show and getting to know them personally, like they're more nuanced than their public appearance, who they are publicly. So do I appreciate the things Rachel's putting out there? No. Um, do I feel like I know a, a other side of Rachel? Yes, I think I do. And um, I also think that when we talk about folks who are sort of Latinx, you know, or Latinos or Hispanics or whatever word you use for, uh, you know, the sort of amalgamation of cultures that we call folks that are Latinx, um, they have different ways of approaching the world and they have a set of experiences that push them in a certain direction politically. And I think that's Rachel's life. Like the conversations I had with her when we were in the real world, I don't know about now, but we're very much about growing up in Arizona, right? Growing up in an immigrant family, right? Some of the values and the systems connected there. And, you know, I I came to understand her conservatism from being raised that way, right? And sort of believing in meritocracy and believing in all those things because that's how her dad and mom worked really hard to provide for their kids, right? And so those values <clears throat> have now turned into this whole thing and they connected with her desire to be in front of the camera. Those things have coalesced. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that helps. No, it's no, it's, juicy, it's fascinating it's to hear. it's sort of like how I see it, yeah. I mean, it's just wild. Like her, her, the combined effect of Rachel and Sean Duffy from Real World Boston, they're just combined presence on the country. It's... It's yeah. crazy. They have nine kids. Yeah, they have a lot. I, you know, I, I was marveling at that myself. I'm just like, wow, that's a lot of kids. But, you know, I mean, it's at the end of the day in this country, we're going to have to figure out how to locate the humanity in each other and then use that as a way to build empathy for each other. Because if we don't, it's going to tear us apart. 